Okay, Sci-Fi's first period. This is a quick video. I think my one last time was too long, so I'm going to keep this short. And we're going to talk about the final step of this little project. We had the info about whatever story you choose, a sci-fi story you're going to tell us about. And then you make a slideshow. And last time I showed, like, starting one. Um, this time I'm going to talk about the actual presentation part where you're going to show this. Since the majority of the class is online, most of the students, uh, even if it's just temporarily, are currently at home, uh, I don't want to do any kind of presentation where you're in the room and you point at the board or whatever. We're going to do one where you make a quick video. And it really will be quick. I'm going to say like two minutes. You're aiming for two, but anywhere from one to three is your... Uh, your minimum and maximum, okay? Uh, which is good for me too, because I've been making them too long. So um, your slideshow is going to go through the story, and I showed this last time. I was choosing a game called Horizon Zero Dawn because it really stuck with me. I think it was a great story. You've got these people in the future who are um, in this tribal society, but they have robots. You know, instead of hunting uh, woolly mammoths and stuff. They're hunting like big uh, pterodactyl looking robots and big uh, alligator looking robots and stuff. And we learned that in the past, in our world, you know, like in the 21st century, uh, the humans built these robots. At first they were good to clean the environment and uh, save us from uh, catastrophe in that way. But they made them so that they could build more of themselves and eat uh, living organisms for fuel. And so they just kept doing that and making more and more of them and less and less of the biological life. And as soon as it was too late, people realized, wait a minute, we're going to get wiped out. And so in the story, we have the machines. They're not like... Terminator, Skynet, where it's one hive mind, you know, they are just like animals. Each one is smart enough to fight and eat and graze and so on, but they're not uh, making long-term plans. It's just growing the way any population grows. Um, and of course, at the end, or when we learn about what happened in the past, we see the humans tried all kinds of stuff to survive. They tried to go in space, or they tried to build super weapons, and none of it worked, except uh, one other thing that I'll get to in a minute. Uh, so the real science is that it actually seems crazy at first, but then you realize that you know, they built stuff that was pretty much like, I don't know if you guys have seen these Boston Dynamics videos. It's a company that makes these little robot dog-looking things, and there are some that have humanoid forms and they do tests of like kicking them and making them walk on banana peels and stuff to see if they can handle uh, the physics and the mechanics of movement and of course every time you see those videos online people make jokes about how you know they're going to be arresting humans and killing humans and all this stuff um, you see stuff like that on black mirror and on other similar sci-fi uh, venues so what makes it special is that this story, you start in like this hut in a society of like 100 people who have bows and arrows. And then a couple hours later, you're in this giant city of this big empire that's kind of like the Aztecs, the way you, uh, the way you meet them. They're like sacrificing people in a, in a big arena and stuff like that. But then you learn that, okay, spoilers, here's where we get to the stuff from the uh, from the past is that the humans didn't survive. They realized we can't win. We can't stop the uh, the spread of this infinitely reproducing robot army. So they said, "Okay, we are going to die, but we'll set it up so that when things are safe, you know, a thousand years later." life will start again. And so they made these machines that would start cloning uh, plants and animals and humans uh, as like the final stage of that. Way later, after they were all 
you know, gone. And so I, the reason that story stuck with me, and this is where it gets, you know, to the opinion part of things where you're not really saying what happened, but you want to tell us why you care and why you love it and why it's, um, you know, your choice for this thing is because it's about the people who lost. It's about the people who didn't have that final battle where they like, you know, the villain has a, a beam going into the sky that's summoning a super army or whatever, and then they stop it. For this, uh, they didn't stop it, and they were wiped out, and they did lose. And um, we don't see that much in real life. We see it happen. There are plenty of civilizations that went away, and there are plenty of species that went away, but we don't get to uh, ask them what happened, obviously. So in this story, with its uh, recordings and its investigation and its... Uh, science fiction-y stuff. This allows us to get that kind of story, which you couldn't get in real life. You couldn't do a story about, like, you know, the Maya or other people who are, I guess there are still Maya descendants now, but um, not the empire, not the same government or anything like that. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on. I was talking about making these videos shorter, so I'll stop there, but you get the idea. What you guys are going to do is make a video where you go through your slides and narrate. So you're going to I recommend using this extension called Loom. And instead of going to loom.com or whatever, I want to tell you guys to search for the Chrome extension. Like, instead of this website... If you click on that, then you have to go through a menu and blah, blah, blah to get what you need. But if you just search Loom Chrome extension, uh, you find this. I guess I can give you this link. Um, and you can use this. And I know it works. I know it's not blocked. I know people have done these on their Chromebooks uh, for other classes, so I would recommend that. If you want to use something else to make your video, that's fine. I'm not going to say you have to use Loom. If you're at home and you're on your PC, uh, you know, I'm using OBS right now, and that's a very reasonable uh, software for all kinds of stuff, so you can use that. However, if you're on your Chromebook, I recommend this because I know it's going to do the job. If you try something else, it might be blocked or it might have issues with our uh, school saving on the drive and all that stuff, so you don't want to lose your work. So anyway, I'll take this link and put it in the Google Classroom post. And you guys uh, will go through slides and have a little bit of narration. You don't have to read exactly what it says on the slide. When I just went through mine, I did not read exactly what it says because I'm taught. I'm, you know, you can imagine you're a human talking to other humans, which you are. Um, you can say whatever comes to mind and you can add details that are not on the slides. I don't want your slides to have giant, you know, paragraphs of tiny text. But if you want to talk, you can talk as much as you can think of, you know. So that is the final step. This is a three-part uh, project. There's going to be 10 out of 10 for this getting started part. 10 out of 10 for the slideshow, but then the third one, the presentation, that's going to be a, a little assessment grade because I want to get assessment grades in there. I don't want to wait until the end and have them all, you know, change your grade by massive amounts. This will just be a nice little 25-point assessment before we do quizzes and tests and stuff later, and I believe it'll be a good one. I think it'll get everybody off to a nice start on their, uh, their letter grades. So that's it. I will end it here before this video gets too long and I will give you guys time to work. I will go through and look at these and put it in grades, but also put comments of like, you know, hey, do more of this or what about this? Um, try to push people in a direction that's going to end up with something good. Thanks.